Hey, it's you. Come on in and join us. You're here on a great day today. We have a Halloween seasonal from Farmhouse North. <laughs> it's a Halloween morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays. We are the Barbershop Duet. Hey, y'all, happy Halloween season and welcome to the Barbershop. Thank you for finding us. If you happen to be here during one of the live premieres, we'd love to meet you and we are waiting for you in the live chat. Come on by and say hi and meet the Whiff Pack. A cool group of folks from all over the world hanging out. One of them is very tall and from Texas. And for our mention today, we wanted to mention Farmhouse North, our artisan for today. She has a wonderful website. We looked at all the shaving stuff, but there are tons more things. Some candles, some EDP, some air fresheners. Go check it out. And if you were here over the summer, you know that we were just bowled over by the quality of the Farmhouse North shaving mm -hmm. products. So y'all, go check out what Janet and her family have got going on on the website. And I am told there might even be a Christmas seasonal shave soap mm -hmm. in our future. And this, yeah. I was so excited to see a Halloween soap mm -hmm. drop because this was the perfect one to celebrate summer with. Right. And this one might have little mm -hmm. whisperings of apple going Ooh. on in these set notes. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. Let's meet the soap. All right, y'all. So from the sales page at farmhousenorth.com. Wet shaving is an old school art form and it's still going strong. This shave soap is five ounces of tallow and kokum butter based dual lye soap in an eight ounce container. The tallow, kokum and castor oil in combination provide excellent slip for a close shave. Did you know that tallow has amazing skin benefits as well? Oh. And castor oil, we know from Mr. Lane, mm -hmm. helps make an incredible lather. It's very, yes. very foamy and luxurious. Mm -hmm. So. I'm excited, y'all. And if you go to the website and pull down the menu, they have such scents as Surfside, Delirium Drive, Skeleton Coast, mm -hmm. Palo Santo, Angelo. Are mm -hmm. you kidding me? Aged bourbon and pear we were oh, looking at? My goodness. This is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Let's let this one out of the box. I feel like I'm smelling things from here already. Oh, I don't know if that's... Smell the does the sticker have a smell? I don't know. Oh, that'd be cool. Oh, oh! What? There's things! What you... Look! Oh! Yo! Is there... <laughs> Mysteries and wonders, y'all. What's going on in here? Hold on. So this is a... Halloween soap, so maybe there's a little bit of a, of a, uh, of a, drink or oh, no, candy! Yay! It's my favorite candy! And it's the left one! Y'all, it's Kit Kat, thank you! Okay. Oh, wait, and the right one! Oh, oh so it's both! See, we're good. It's having a great day so Y'all, no skimping here in the wet shaving world. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. And then let's see what we got here. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Fancy. More things. Ooh, look at this. Oh, a little oh, prison card just for you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, See, candles. Postcard. They make candles. Mm -hmm. Thanks mm -hmm. a bunch. Mm -hmm. Love that. And farmhouse. You know what? There we go. Oh, there's a no! Thanks, Marcus and Joey from Jen and a happy face. Oh. Well, thank you. Okay, okay. Ooh, and then, oh, more oh, stickers. More beautiful. stickers. Y'all, the presentation on this. Y'all, we were talking to Will at Barrister, and man, he actually bought like a high-level EDP from Bloomingdale's, and it came mailed in a busted-up box, and he reviewed it, and they deleted his review. It was so, honest. Y'all, in the shaving soap world, when you order from your artisans, mm -hmm. the care and presentation that they put into your packages mm -hmm. is unmatched. Look mm -hmm. at this. I love this. Okay. I, I really feel like I might be getting some whiffs over here. I so know. I kind of am too. Oh, I gotta, oh what? it's fun. What? Bright green. What? Oh. Yeah. Speaking yes! of packaging. Oh, and I another love sticker it. inside. Jen, it's beautiful. Look at that oh, label. Oh, that label, my friend. Oh, shiny, shiny mm -hmm. things. Oh, look at the tornado. Yeah. I knew oh. this was Wizard of Oz. I knew this was Wizard yes! of Oz. Wow, good eye, Marcus. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, um, y'all, it is not easy being green, so we're gonna have a first impression. Number 15, is this, does she have 15 cent options? That's kind of That'd fun. That'd be cool. Great. All, right. All right, I'm dominant. in. Take it in. Okay. And she's in Minnesota, y'all, in case you oh, wanted to know. There you very go. Very cool, Marge. Okay, let's see. Oh, I forgot about this. How could I forget? Oh, There's the little imprint. Oh, look at that. She puts the buttonhole right? imprint mm -hmm. on the top mm -hmm. of the sofa. Okay. Love it. Mysteries and wonders. We've had a few. 
that had some apple in them. Yes. But it wasn't completely apple forward so far right. this season. No. So, and, and just you know, they all kind of have personalities. One was yeah. a caramel apple. Mm-hmm. One of them was a cider mill that's haunted and burning right. down. You know, so, you just, know, lots of different forms mm-hmm. of the apple. So, right. Ooh, and some have had other witches on their covers, but they have all smelled different as well. Right. So, and this could be anything, is what I, I'm saying. I hate to admit, I might have glanced at the notes. Oh. And there might be a little bit of boo. Oh. A little bit of a Halloween party for grown-ups oh. going on in here, y'all. The so I bring you a lot of tidings of great okay. joy, but we'll know when we take our final okay. first impression. All right, see what you get. Okay. Oh. Yeah? Well, yeah. Well, yeah? Yeah, I think I'm drooling. Um, yeah? There's, there's is it gourmandy? Kind of. Yeah. Oh. It's just, it is a real apple. Oh. Like, it's green. It is definitely a green apple. Nice. And I couldn't decide if it was going to turn into a sour candy apple. Right. Or if it was like, literally, I just juiced a green apple. Ah. Like, it was, it's real. And then, it does. It gets a little deeper. And I, it must be more of a boozy thing happening. Because right. I don't, I was trying to figure out what it was. It's not, it's not like earthy. Right. Like, not that side. Yeah, yeah. But the darkness, I, and I don't think it's woods. Because I was trying to figure out if it was like a right. type of wood going on. But Ooh. I'm not getting cinnamon. Right. I'm not getting the sweet. So gotcha. it's not the caramel apple side. It's not that candied dunked apple side. Right. It is straight up apple. So is this Same. a Granny Smith or is this a Jolly Rancher? I think that's where we're standing. Oh, Actually, hmm. My brain wants to file it yeah. as a Jolly Rancher, but okay. it is not. It oh. is a straight up Granny Smith apple. Like oh. green, freshest nice. apple I've ever smelled in my right. life. And does it have a little bit of that sour edge that a Granny Smith has? Yes. Ah. Which is why my brain thinks of like turning it into a candy, but it's not. Right. It's it's just approaching, just yeah. a little tease Love happening. It. Are there and, any other scent notes swirling around under the surface? I'm still trying to figure it out. I think there is some sort of spice. It's not cinnamon. It's not It's not the normal ones, but there's something that's making it... I I somehow think it's a cold apple. Oh. I don't think it's a brood, like, right. kind cold. of... Yeah, There's right. not, it's not a brew of something with other things in there. Right. I think it's like the real apple. Not a hot apple pie. No, it's it's not baked. It's not... It had Things haven't happened to the apple yet. There's something with the apple that's separate. This is an unmolested apple. Yeah, all <laughs> it right. is. Hold on, I need to see what this is all about. Yeah, you do. There's, there's. It, it, I, I'm. It is the tornado. Like whatever. They're yeah. spiraled in. Like I'm getting one side really? and it flips, and then there's something. Whoa. Like it's there's. It's an active apple. There's things happening. You know, there is a line in the Wizard of Oz that oh. references what the witch smells like. Oh. And for my whole life, I didn't know what it was. Because Billy Burke says it, the good witch of the north, okay. when when the bad witch disappears. Okay. Billy Burke looks at Dorothy and goes, What is Malatava? What? What? What is Malatava? Did you put closed captions what? on? How do we Right? So I'm finally I went with Melinda, my cousin from the NYC Odyssey episode. About twenty years ago, they did an IMAX and we went and saw it together. Oh yeah. She's the only one I know on the planet that knows more about that movie than I do. So I asked her, Okay, what's that line Billy Burke says? And right. she looks at me like I'm the stupidest person in the world and she goes, well, clearly, she says, what a smell of sulfur. Oh. Oh. Duh. So Thank you, Melinda. <laughs> I have it on great authority that this smells better than the actual Wicked Witch of the West. Yes. In The Wizard of Oz. That's more yes. of your fire and brimstone. Mm-hmm. This is more mm-hmm. of your wicked. Okay, here we go. I'm take- well, Wicked. Hold yeah. on. Hold on. Actually. That, wait. So there's a giant Wicked adaptation that's yes. about to hit. Mm-hmm. I wonder if that's more what this is Ooh. referring to. Because we don't know what Elphaba smells like. It's true. Okay, I got to say, smelling this... I didn't get scared. Right. I know it's wicked because it's a little off kilter, but right. it didn't make me run for the hills. So maybe it's Alphaba and not so I, much the Wicked okay, Witch from the Wizard of Oz. After smelling this, I would, I would agree. A little bit of Adele Dezim. Have, have we this. said before that we have had a soap that has a green apple? Yes. Okay. Because yes. this, this to me is more obvious gotcha. than some okay. of the others we've had. Right. Okay. Let's see what you think. Here we go. <laughs> Do you see the cricket face? <laughs> Oh, I love this. I love this. My brain just showed me, like, this is a story with a twist. This is a story where you think you know where it's going, Mm -hmm. and then there's this little surprise ending on it, like death trap kind of thing. Y'all, here's what this does. (laughs) When this meets you, it's super real. It is super realistic. You can feel it in your hand. Like, I just took a bite. You can see the morning dew off of it. Mm -hmm. You can feel the juice as you bite into it. And as your nose goes deeper... And goes to find the crispness. So that slightly bitter, beautiful edge that a Granny Smith apple will have in what gives it that crispy sense. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, as soon as you get there, it turns. And it suddenly becomes slightly candy. For me, 
suddenly becomes slightly caramel, ah. suddenly becomes something candied apple, and then it takes a final twist. <laughs> that's why I'm thinking Death Trap. Destroy the tornado. You know? Into boozy. Ah, it is boozy at the end. So I knew it was something darker. It starts with a real apple, and then it gets candied and carameled, and then it gets boozy. It transforms in front of your nose, and y'all. all three of those acts happen because y'all you're not just going to get a whiff of anything if you just go right whiffs take a while whiffs take a few seconds whiffs take 15 20 seconds sometimes so that's what i love about this it invites your nose in thinking you know what you're going to discover and then it changes and then it changes again (laughs) and every time it changes much like in death trap the story gets way better so when you're watching death trap and you get to that first Twist, I smell this. You think it's a pretty boring movie, but after that first twist, you're like, holy crap, what am I watching? And after the second twist, you're like, holy crap, are they allowed to do this on screen? That, that's what this becomes. And each time the story gets better and better and better. Woo! Mm-hmm. Whoa. I know. I, I, it's fun because I think a lot of the other Apple ones we have are a little closer to the Halloween side. This one is going to go all through fall. I feel like there's just something in that I'm not going to want to let go. And then? You know, you know, you know, I can find in this, y'all. I'm yeah, gonna say it. In. I'm gonna say it out loud. We have to get closer. There is a little bit of talc oh. in this. For me, there is a tiny bit of a barbershop mm. going along with this wicked apple. Tell Ooh. me if I'm wrong. Okay, let me let me try. But do you not get? Because my, my nose was like, wait a minute. There's something in that that doesn't belong. There is something in there that's absolutely righteous and how it's bringing the balance together. But it's a stranger. And as my Mm. nose kept discovering it, it went, oh, it's not a stranger at all. It's your old friend Powder. Ah. And it's in there. Y'all imagine. I think I'm right. Okay. Smell that. But we will start to build a ladder and determine if I'm actually right or not. What? Ah. uh, (laughs) Yeah. Something got a little creamier at the end. I I swear. I'm not sure if it's a powder, creed, talky something. Or sometimes like if it's a lighter, like a white colored Wood, like a oh, sandalwood, one right. of those other ones. Like it right. makes, it kind of adds that creamy it vibe. It is not a floral. It's a spice, y'all. Yeah. Oh, for me, it's a talc. It's a powder note in there. And Interesting. It's gorgeous. I know. I feel like my mouth is drooling every time I can take a whiff. I, it's not like a gourmandy scent. It, to me, it's like the apple's so real that it's real. So this is our Vanille Honeycomb Bowl made by Monica Deep in the heart of Texas. Up. I know. Yeah, Jan, how stamp. do we do this? Okay, we're going to go way, way over to the yeah. edge go, go so I don't it. mess it up. All right. There Ooh, it has a fun be, color to it. Look at this. That's y'all. a different color than look I think. Look at the that... iridescence in that. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. And that's all I'm going to use. This gently, gently gets pushed into the honeycombs here just so it stays in place. Then we're going to throw a little bit of our bougie Hold water in here from our Smaldridge Memorial bougie sprayer. <laughs> and is there a better green on the planet mm-hmm. than this brush from Craig at Opus Brush? Yeah. What do you do? Oh, sure. hardware there. Yeah, we decided we had to use the green brush because it matches that label all too well, y'all. And he might change his mind, but we bring you glad tidings of great joy. Craig from Opus Brush is going to do a live with us in the next few weeks. Mm-hmm. I'm getting both a real and a Jolly Rancher sense from this. And now I'm not that sure it's how wet, those are coming I agree. together. Yeah. Whoa. Well, the, talk about Halloween. You do have real apples you mm-hmm. bought for. And you better have some Jolly Ranchers in your bad watermelon, true. too. Mm-hmm. Or you never went trick-or-treating. Let's did, you, did you really trick-or-treat if you don't have Jolly Ranchers? You know, if you don't have that crappy Brock's candy at the bottom of your bag, that's how <laughs> right. you know the you one that no cousin will trade you for. That's just going to live that's in a bottle. the weirdest thing you ever got trick or treating. Like, I used to, every once in a while, I get like a homemade good or something right. where I was like, a pumpkin Are we allowed bar. to eat this? Mom? Ma? Right? I feel like sometimes I even got like chips or saltines, like something random that I'm right. like, they're just emptying their pantry. They right. ran out. They're yeah. just sharing what they have. One guy gave out like eight pennies, and I'm like, dude, it is 1989. Okay, y'all. Oh, I know we never mentioned lather here on the barbershop duet, but y'all, I have this is extraordinary. Look yeah. at that. I didn't even work that hard on it. It's just, Ooh, it's happy lather. It's the formula. And you know, when we watch our shave and chat, we do garner a lot of valuable information watching mm-hmm. him lather the face. Mm-hmm. So while we don't do shaving here on the barbershop duet, we did realize that it might be a benefit for y'all to see how this lather coats an actual that. shaver. And y'all look at that. Look at that. <gasps> There's some depth house. going on there. Are Look at that. Me? Oh, and it can get right under my stubble. I love that. Oh. I mean, it's definitely slick, but the razor's got to be able to get under there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Good thing you didn't shave today. Now, maybe you could bust this out. I might later. just march this in, sing Onward Christian Soldiers, and shave away. Mm-hmm. 
the candy sense in this. Yes. I'm hitting, like you said, I'm getting hit by both sides. Is it a Jolly Rancher? No. Is it a real apple? But no. That's it's why food. it's fabulous. Because if you smell a real grape next to a Jolly Rancher grape, they're not going to be friends. This, this is extraordinary. It's like one takes over where the other leaves off. Yep. And then it hits the tennis ball back. And the other one takes over where the first one left off. So is this a real Granny Smith apple? Or is this your favorite Jolly Rancher sour apple oh. candy? It is all of it. And mm -hmm. I kind of almost get it all in one whiff. I, I do. That's why I still am going back to my first whiff. And I couldn't figure it out. And that's why. But there's something about this soap that like is energizing. And it wakes you up. There's right. a lot of the other Halloween ones that have that darker, damper, like almost like you want to get cozy with kind of sense. Uh, yeah. This apple is taken a whole different way. <laughs> and y'all, the list of set notes for this reads like mm -hmm. the cast of Mad, 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 Mad World. They are all amazing. And I want you to meet them. Let's go to the set notes. All right, y'all. So directly from our inbox from Jen at Farmhouse North. Wicked Apple, limited edition. So get yours now. Small batch. That's what she's got. Okay. Apple, which I think it's the best of the apples. Yo, you pick which flavor you like. Granny Smith and mm -hmm. a Jolly Rancher. And they're going to go on a date and have a baby. It's mm -hmm. amazing. And then, and then oh, oak. We don't always get this. Oak. Barrels, you often see oak in the scent world, but it's not given enough of a spotlight. Mm -hmm. You get a lot of cedars, you get a lot of mahoganies, you get your sheafers. Oak is such a beautiful, light, spicy wood that it's sort of overlooked sometimes, it I think. Is. And I love what it's doing in here, especially how it's connecting mm -hmm. to the bourbon. We're going to read in a minute. Uh -huh. But first, we have... Amber. Y'all, mm -hmm. that's where I'm getting the powdery note. And it's amazing the way it's sitting in the middle. It's a fun, like, fall scent, but right. it really is part of this scent. Like, that's how I know what time of year we're in. Well, the amber connects the apple and the oak with the other scents that you're mm -hmm. about to hear in such an amazing way. Because then we have... We have bourbon. So you were it. right about the bursy aspect. My Dad was mm -hmm. a bourbon and water man, so this has got some nostalgia for me. Yeah, and, and then maybe both parents are represented because mm -hmm. after that we, we have, have maple, which is why it doesn't get too too sweet. It's just the perfect amount. Y'all think about a candied apple and a little booze, and then some maple. Are you kidding mm -hmm. me? I like the way Jen thinks. <gasps> and they blend perfectly. So whatever like scent intensity the apple is compared to the maple, compared right? to the bourbon, like they all work perfectly together. That Yo, blend is a thing. Absolutely. There are balances that are just like three things that come together. This is like 15 and then it goes up and then a big old plank comes along and they've got to balance those with a counterweight over mm -hmm. here. Yo, this is a magic trick how this balances. This, this might be the scent that I want to get in the EDP version to try out. Yo, just saying. And her EDPs are under 30 mm -hmm. bucks. They're quite the value. This might so. bring me back to day, so you'll see that shortly, I, I would, think. I love gourmand EDPs. Can we just have a grown-up conversation? There was just something about putting Fruit Loops on myself mm -hmm. as an EDP that makes me go purchase, purchase, purchase. Right? I, I don't know. It just helps these. you conquer the adult junk right. you got to do in your life. Right. When you get a little whiff, you're like, yeah, you're right. I got a little whiff of Fruit Loops. Right. I'm good to go. Well, I'll get that later. Lee Noons, I don't want to smell like a banana, but I certainly want to smell a banana. Mm -hmm. And on that note, why don't we take this down a little bit? So the cool thing about this scent, if you didn't see the label, if you just put this under somebody's nose, right. I, I think they get apple right away with a little something wicked going on, don't you think? Y'all, this is charmed apple. You know why? I'm going, why is this absolutely beguiling and so different from any of the other apples we've mm -hmm. covered? And for some reason, apples are giant. The shape Yeah. Of this one, <laughs> this one does not have cinnamon. Nope. And I don't know how I missed that, but everything in here is coming together to support this apple in exactly the same way a cinnamon would. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to say something that's shocking even me. This is better. Yeah. This is better for me than a cinnamon because it's deeper. It's more inviting. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon can be a little bit sweet. And then really, once you dive into it, it does have a little bit of a bracing wall that you hit with cinnamon. If you've ever put some in your mouth Don't do without it. sugar, Don't do it's it. an interesting experience. So I think that the way this is bringing in amber and bourbon and maple and oak is giving me something mm -hmm. just as homey, something yeah. just as comforting as cinnamon without even a wisp of cinnamon going on. Mm -hmm. And I love that. That is the magic trick. That's like when you leave the birds, Alfred Hitchcock, and somebody says, did you like the movie? Yeah. Did you notice there wasn't a note of music in it? Mm -hmm. And they're like, wait, what? There had to be. And they're like, Hitchcock had Bernard Herman. He scored all of his movies. Not that one. When Hitchcock brought the birds to Bernard Herman, Bernard Herman goes, dude, you have bird sounds. They make their own music and it's 
far more terrifying than anything I could write. Leave it musicless. So it's kind of one of those of like, wait a minute, it's an absolute masterpiece and it's done without cinnamon? Mm -hmm. Right, because there was something even better swirling around under the surface. I think that's what, to me, makes me feel like this is such a good, like, morning wake up for a fun day scent, or like, if you need an afternoon pick me up, a, a whiff of this, it just has that brightness happening. If I need to fall unconscious into my bed, this is what I gotta put on. This has a fabulous nighttime vibe for me, and that is another mark of a great shaving soap. Mm -hmm. Different noses are gonna get very different it's things It's all about day it. scent, y'all. That's the answer, I think. EDP for sure. Yep. Uh, stay tuned, because mm -hmm. we're gonna be mentioning that on a future episode. Yeah, clearly we need to go purchase that now. This so. is phenomenal. This might be my favorite apple this year. I, I gotta say, I, even the whiff that I got out of the box through the right. envelope, and I was like, right. if it smells anything close to this, I think we're gonna be fans. If the postman says, wow, your mail smells great today, that's how you know it's mm -hmm. gonna be a good show. Or if so we never got it, they would've just taken it because it smelled too good. So it's pretty simple, y'all. Just be the host of a show called Profiles in History, and you're gonna be trying to find the original yellow brick road, which you've heard mm -hmm. is carved into the concrete floor of the soundstage at MGM. Well, mm -hmm. when they bring you into the soundstage and you ask if you can see a cross section of the floor, they're gonna say, no, we've never dug a hole in here. And you're gonna say, wait mm -hmm. a minute, where was the house over there? Where was the water and the good witch over there? And you're gonna walk to a very specific section of the floor and ask for a crowbar and when they say why you're gonna say well the witch had to disappear somewhere they're gonna find that hole they're gonna find where margaret hamilton descended for that famous disappearance and you are gonna get your own so head over to farmhousenorth.com where you'll find this and all kinds of other cool stuff Y'all, I have had my shave with Wicked Apple, and I think in the last analysis, the reason I am still so charmed whenever I smell this to the point of laughter is because they use the tartness of the apple as the doorkeeper to the rest of everything that's going on in here. So it allows your nose to find that tartness of like the apple peel, and then it takes a turn and uses parts of that scent to bring you down into everything that's boozy and spicy and swirling around underneath it, well, like a tornado. And are those red shoes? S Sarah, there's red shoes on the Wicked Apple no label. Y'all, mysteries and wonders. And for a new artisan, this base has no business being as good as it is. In fact, y'all, Jen is going to join us on our live in conversation series in the weeks to come. So keep your eyes on our Instagram account and we hope to see you there. Welcome to Messages. So along with this wicked apple and witchy fun we've got going on here, we wanted to give you a chance to win a $20 gift card to Southern Witchcraft. All you have to do to be eligible is send an email here to we set you at the barbershop .com. mention Southern Witchcrafts, and then check back here on our episode on November 2nd when we have our Alexa help us choose yeah. our lucky winner on the show. Best of luck. I do have to say I'm a fan of these tubs. So if you would like to tub load, there is what? room in here. I know she mentioned it, but you can kind of see that Not that's that what we're working with. anything wrong with that. Fuzzy. No, we, we just both love it. You. But you do you. Oh, we're just going to want to sit here and whip this all day. I, I wonder if it comes in a candle. Can we get a candle right? too? I can't believe that they have just taken everything about Apple and turned it so upside down. And yep. I love that my nose is invited in to the point where it's like, this could be nothing but Apple. Mm -hmm. And then that's when the first turn happens. My brain just wants to know how I can eat it. Like, can I have a bite? Can I make a tea from it? What, can I we just bloom it and drink the water? Yeah, I'm down. I love that the name Farmhouse North really sets the tone too. Like it just has oh. a different homey, cozy it's vibe. A bit like, of a Wizard of Oz homage. It thing is. Around. And a little farmhouse totally and a wicked is. witch of the wicked mm -hmm. apples. Who Hopefully knows? she doesn't have any wicked neighbors, but you never know. But, yeah, uh, Dorothy you know. didn't have any. Well, she had one. She had the one on the bike. Right. right? You know, and yeah, then Toto there. is in danger. Oh, yeah, there mm -hmm. is a problem there. Yeah. Did you know that Billy Burke, who plays the Good Witch, was the wife of Florence Sigfield and a kind oh. of a big star back in the day? See? Didn't know. Thank yeah. you, Marcus. No, and no. the dog that is in Silence of the Lambs is the same dog that was in the Burbs. Oh! And Jen and Farmhouse North, thank you for not only making this such an extraordinary soap, but being such a great artisan right out of the box. Yeah. You are doing everything right, and we so appreciate it. We that. really do. Put in the chat, y'all, what we should do next Absolutely. out of those sets. Yeah! Too many Go to on pick. the site, and you can vote on what our mm -hmm. next one should be. Yeah, don't forget your next quote with the barbershop duo. Oh, you'll smell more wicked just watching this. 